Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. Welcome to your Wednesday Wisdom with Spirit, where I will tune into Spirit through mediumship or channeling and see who's here and what message they want to share. So uh, I am feeling this like deep pull to dive right in, like, like a tug on a tether almost. So I'm just going to jump straight into that and see what's going on. So just hold on one second here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. Um, yes, fair. So this, so again, I found myself sitting right at the table where my, my council sits. And although they are all present, this comes from two specific guides of mine that are kind of like almost half angel, half fairy, if I could say it that way. Um, they, they're kind of like a hybrid of two worlds, I, if I could say that. I don't, they're hard to explain. Uh, very beautiful, very fun. What they wanted to say, the message for today is be very thoughtful. And this is not said in the way of like a warning or a, you know, some intense thing, but just be thoughtful of who you surround yourself with, what energy you connect with. And what they're saying is that the energies of September, as we're grounding in a lot of stuff that we gained in terms of knowledge and awareness through August, through Leo, now that we're in September and we're in this energy of Virgo, which is very like grounded, it's earthy. And so that we're wanting to ground these things into our reality. They're saying, be thoughtful of who you surround yourself with because they're showing me the process of osmosis where things can move from one side of something to another through a permeable membrane, right? Like a membrane with holes in it, essentially. And they're saying energy does the same and is amplified right now. So this is more specific to like people. I want to say specifically people. If you are around somebody right now who is very, very negative, chances are the energy will move from them through you, through that permeable membrane or veil or however you want to call it, but move from their aura essentially into your aura and will bring you down. And so if we consciously know that, like if we have that like a piece of knowledge, intel, and then we be choosy about it, the same thing will happen when we surround ourselves with people with higher energy, positive energy, forward thinking energy, creative energy, because their creative spin of energy will also permeate through into your auric field. And so you can be inspired by them. And then of course, when two energies match each other, well, the combination of that can create so many beautiful things. So they're saying, be thoughtful of who you surround yourself with and why, and notice your energy stores as well. Does this energy pairing lift you up or bring you down? Um, yeah, because they're saying a lot of people right now are really searching and that's a good thing and they're very happy about this. A lot of people are really searching, but sometimes in that searching, their energy can almost um, drain yours. And some people call this like energy vampirism. I think that's a little harsh of a term. However, it's one that is known. Essentially, it's when somebody is around you because you lift them up, which is great. But sometimes, not always, that can drain your energy. So if that's happening all the time where you're around people helping them, helping them, but it's draining your energy, you have to be aware of that because energy is moving so fast right now. So be thoughtful of who you're around, what the energy is doing. Notice where your boundaries are in that energy. Do you need to take a break? Do you know that maybe when you hang around with person A, you can only last about, I don't know, say an hour before you start to feel your energy depleted? If you know that, then allow that to help form your boundary, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. Just the same as there may be times where you're feeling really good and someone needs your help and you want to be present and you're willing to uh, engage in that energetic exchange in that you're giving to their energy field. And that's fine too. Again, Spirit is saying just be thoughtful of what you're doing and why so that you don't end up completely drained right now uh, or feeling like you're heavier, um, denser, 
more emotional or anything like that because you will also in that osmosis you will pick up on other people's feelings energetics and all of that which can also bring you down or inspire you again knowledge is power here and that's why they're wanting to bring this through what you choose to do with it is completely up to you and again it's not said in a way of a warning but just as um, intel now there's something more hold on Okay, now they're saying for many, nighttime or dream state has been very um, intense or turbulent or like lack of sleep, waking up a lot, all that kind of stuff, restlessness. But they're saying now for the next while, sleep will be a time of rejuvenation. And so if you really calm your body before you go to bed, again, be very conscious of your energy before you go to bed, clear it if you need. Uh, we got the smudge card yesterday, I think it was. Um, whatever you need to do to your energy before you go to bed will make you in a kind of neutral state so that your body can really recalibrate, rejuvenate during sleep state. Because Spirit is saying they want to come in during that sleep state to help kind of fill our tanks again. Another thing they're showing me too is there's something happening... There's something happening in the cosmos, yeah, fair, in which they're showing me the picture of this. You know the Ace of Cups card? Um, or just imagine a cup in your hand, right? This is your cup. There are two cups from above pouring into your one cup. And what that tells me is that either it is your spirit team, your council, or there's a, a cosmic alignment of sorts. Maybe it's all of those things. There are pairings in the higher realms helping to fill your cup okay and so that's a really beautiful thing and that's something throughout the month of september as we ground these things into reality as we ground whatever came up in august into our reality now in this forward movement we also are being filled with energy from above into our cup now cups always represent the emotional space within and so that's a really beautiful thing so that is part of what will be happening at nighttime is like spirit refilling your emotional tank so that you can wake up feeling kind of rested, rejuvenated, refilled, cared for, and deeply loved by the universe, by the higher realms, by your spirit team. So for any of you that are feeling like, I can't hear my spirit guides, I don't think anyone is with me, no one hears me in the spirit realm, I can't you know, manifest a spirit, um, I can't always manifest a spirit either. There's sometimes I ask and I get nothing. But what I can say for sure is that we are absolutely never alone and they do always hear us. And so spirit is really wanting to show this that nighttime is a time where they can really come in and try and bring us as much um, nourishment and comfort as possible. So very interesting message. So be thoughtful of where your energy is going, who you're around, how it's affecting you. And nighttime is a time for rejuvenation. So set your energy before you go to bed in the best way possible and see how that helps us as we move forward. So what a beautiful message. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I will leave that with you. If you feel that this really helped you, please do share. And um, if this is your first time to my page and you enjoyed it, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Check out the podcast as well, the Jeanette Viral Podcast. This week is a great conversation between myself and fellow medium Tanya Leanne about some of the myths and misconceptions in mediumship. So check that out and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one.